my main cricket case there. That's got all my bats and pads and protective gear in. This bag here, this has got all my, most of my, my clothing inside it, which is uh, underwear, jock straps, shirts, trousers. That's all my soft kit. This, this particular bag here is, is my one day kit. So with one day cricket, you think I take less kit, I actually take more kit to a one day game um, because of my, well, my blue gear is in that particular bag. But my basic kit for, for, for cricket in whites consists of these three bags here. I'll just show you inside the cricket case. It's in there. That mainly is, is all my protective gear and sweaters there. And you've got box and gloves and there's some bats inside that. Uh, all my boots are in there, my various types of boots. One, Batting boots, keeping boots, nice dry weather boots, thigh pad, of course bats, keeping pads, practice keeping pads. They're my, they're my match pads. And obviously bats, helmets, etc. All, all in there. All my personal stuff, my really close to the heart stuff goes into this bag. And I never leave this bag at the ground. I always take this bag with me back to the hotel, take it home on a night. And in here, as you can see, I've got, got my hat, which is very important. Uh, my gloves, my, it's basically my, my keeping bag, really. My keeping stuff, my number one pair of gloves, which don't look like number ones, but they're, they're my best pair. A spare pair of gloves, and also I use those for, for fielding practice, so my, my number one gloves don't get too much of a pounding. And there's things in here like toothpaste and uh, shampoo, and, shaving, uh, cream for the sun for England, glasses, spare glasses. That's all my, my real personal stuff. And, and this particular bag here is, is my, my little repair bag. And my gloves now are in such a state that uh, at the end of most days play, I normally need to do some repair, some stitching or some, some taping. Spare stud. Uh, that's an interesting personal item, that's my my brother's uh, ring, he used to have that when we were kids. He used to support West Ham before he, he started to support Man United. So and my brother died in 1986, so I hold that, that very close to me. For some reason, there's a, my last winner's medal is, is still in this bag. Um, and just basically, it's all repairs. And, well, obviously the gloves are very important to a keeper. And, and I had these, first had these pair of gloves back in 19... In the mid 1980s, I had a batch of three pairs of gloves. Uh, I lost one pair, gave them to somebody, never got them back. I had one pair for about 10 years, same make, same batch of glove. And these particular gloves I left in New Zealand in 1984 5 with a young wicketkeeper. And I bumped into him 10 years later when I was playing with England, England on tour. And uh, my other old pair had just fallen to bits and totally I couldn't, they just had enough glue and tape and they weren't hanging together much more. And, I really needed to change, it, change my gloves and I thought, well, if I could get a pair from that previous batch back, then they might see me through to the end of my career. And uh, a young lad called Jason Mills had those stuck in the back of his garage. They were in pieces, there was no webbing, the thumb was hanging off, the fingers were hanging off. I took them back, stuck them back together and hopefully they'll, they'll see me through to the end of my career. And obviously my, my favourite hat, which has uh, been with me right throughout my career, my first class career. And uh, that gets plenty of, as you can see, repair and attention. It needs it. it takes a bit of a pounding on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I first used this hat in 1982, which is when I first turned professional with Gloucestershire County Cricket Club. And you can just see inside the original badge that was on the front there. And obviously some of those burnt bits from uh, that near disaster. Well, it was a disaster in Barbados in our apartment when I, I put the hat in the oven to try and dry it very quickly. If you look at that early interview when I, I look like I'm, I'm still a bit of a schoolboy and uh, still at school, the, the badge on the front of that hat is the same badge, the very same badge that's uh, inside this hat here. So that proves that certainly certain parts of this hat is definitely the same as that, the, hat, the original hat I was given in 1982. Really, I just try to do my job for Gloucester, really. That's, that's why I'm in the team. I just like to play well day in, day out. I think that's important. 
um, and try not to think about all the press and uh, all the chat that's going around. I think if you play well day in day out, then you're obviously going to be in with a shout. It's, I think you've got to just train yourself. It's a discipline, really. Keeping's a discipline. You've got to concentrate exactly the same every single ball, all day long, all season long.